If you're just getting started with the Mediterranean diet and looking for a foolproof, no fuss way to make a balanced dinner out of a handful of affordable ingredients, then this baked rice dinner recipe is for you. Lemony baked rice and white beans. Hola, I'm Caroline from Mediterranean Minutes. Welcome to the channel where you can learn to eat the Mediterranean way every day, no matter where you live. Today's Mediterranean menu recipe is my kind of dinner. It pulls together a handful of pretty ordinary and affordable ingredients, but makes a dish that has this incredible flavor. Plus, it's loaded with all the things that are good for you. Healthy protein from beans and almonds, tons of fiber from whole grains, lots of nutrients from whatever veggies you want to add, and it ends up with a bunch of different textures in each bite, which I love. Plus, it's all in one bowl and it's one of the easiest ways to make perfect rice every time. Start on the stove top, finish in the oven. Easy peasy. So if that sounds good to you, pull up a chair, grab a glass, and join me in the kitchen while I get ready to get dinner on the table. Of course, before we begin, if you enjoy today's menu, it'd help me to know what you want to see more of. So please leave a thumbs up and a comment below. Preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 200 degrees centigrade. Personally, I really like the mild and sweet flavor of leeks in this dish. They're tender, there's no sharp edges, and they're not nearly as much spice as onions. But you do you. Work with whatever you have and whatever you like. If you want a more oniony finish, then go ahead and use white or even red onion instead of these leeks. Wash and trim two to three leeks into quarter inch half round slices. Peel thick strips of lemon zest and juice the lemon. Add three tablespoons of olive oil to a large oven safe dish. Today, I'm using my 12-inch cast iron brazier. Softly saute them in some olive oil for just a few minutes until they're a little tender. I found this mixed grain package at my local Asian market, and it has a really interesting combination of six different whole grains. Some pretty interesting rices, mung beans, and Job's tears. It's a really popular grass plant that many Asian country diets have used in their healthy diets for thousands of years, but I've never heard of them before. I like them though, they have a nice crunch to them, a little bit of bite. Add the lemon zest, one and a half cups of mixed grains, and then toss to coat everything with the oil and a little bit of salt and pepper. Add three cups of either water or vegetable broth or a combination. The juice from half the lemon, which works out to about two tablespoons, and bring it all to a boil. Add a half a cup of raw or toasted almonds. Almonds are a really solid source of plant-based protein and healthy fats, so they're a great ingredient to make this dish even more balanced. And I love the nutty, chewy texture in the finished dish. Cover the dish and put it in the preheated oven. And since I've heard from a bunch of you guys, it'd be helpful to know how to put together a full meal, not just one recipe at a time. That's what we're gonna do. So to add another healthy vegetable to our day, let's put together some fresh tomatoes and red onion and a little dressing. It's a simple healthy salad of sliced red onions and sliced tomatoes, gently dressed with a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper. That's it. After 15 minutes, gently fold in two cans of well-rinsed white beans. Since the beans are already cooked, they just need to be heated through and have time to absorb the other flavors in the dish, which is why I don't like to add them at the start. If you want to add some other veggies, like broccoli crowns or asparagus or zucchini, now would be the time to do that too. Just gently lay them on the top, put it all back in the oven, and let it go for another 10 minutes. Remove the pan after another 10 minutes. Pull out all the lemon peel and let the dish rest covered for another five minutes. Then fluff it up, season it with salt and pepper to your taste, sprinkle the rest of the lemon juice over everything, and give it a healthy shower of Parmesan or Pecorino cheese, and a smattering of fresh green herbs, like the chives and the basil I'm using today. So it's time for us to grab our forks and enjoy this healthy one pan dinner straight from the Mediterranean. And if you're looking for some more Mediterranean inspiration, click on this playlist right now.